This is part 3 of 8 Boneworks mods we need in Bone Lab on the Oculus Quest 2 or Meta Quest 2, whatever you want to say. Now, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because the last few mods are absolutely incredible and you wouldn't want to miss it. Let's go. So first up is a slide scale mod. This is a basic mod that allows you to increase the size of almost every item by grabbing it with both hands and simply moving your hands apart. The uses of this mod are very limited. They can be fun to see an overgrown crowbar hit a forward on the head. The guns can also be scaled while also using little clips and shooting things looks hilarious when you do it. But the real fun comes when you use this mod on body parts of the enemies. The results are absolutely hilarious and it would be amazing to have this level of ridiculousness in Bone Lab. So next up is the Gun Ford mod. Now it's safe to say at this point that we won't be playing as Ford in Bone Lab when it drops this year. But I think we should be able to bring him back in the form of a mod and then add an extra layer on top. In Boneworks, the evil Ford character does not use weapons. Instead, they will only follow you around and attempt to beat you down. The Gun Ford mod gives Ford two pistols, which he will use to try and shoot you only when you do damage to him. And it definitely adds another layer to the Ford character. So it would be good to see Ford come back with a vengeance in Bone Lab. Ah. Next up then is the Halo weapon pack. We've already seen the Master Chief player model in previous videos, so it's only fitting that the Halo weapon pack made it into another one of these videos. There are a ton of weapons in this pack from the Battle Rifle to the Covenant Beam Rifle, all with their own custom ammunition clips. The game has a few knives from the Halo universe, but the thing that stood out the most was the Halo Energy Sword, which looks absolutely great, and quite frankly, the more weapons we get in Bone Lab, the better, and if they're from Halo, who's gonna complain? Next up then is the Blue Box Sandbox. Now, the Blue Box is a custom map that looks like it was made by the actual Boneworks team. That's how good it looks and that's how good it fits in with the aesthetic of Boneworks. It's pretty straightforward in the sense that it just looks like the original sandbox with places to spawn enemies, guns and bits of everything else. How will this benefit Bone Lab? Well, assuming Bone Lab launches with mods, then having access to different kinds of levels will definitely add more scope to the game, especially early on. So having maps like Blue Box will be a welcome addition to Bone Lab. Next up is the Minecraft Weapons Pack. And of course, Minecraft was going to make it on this list somewhere because it seems everywhere you go, there is always something related to Minecraft. Somebody made the different types of Minecraft objects in Boneworks. Now, there isn't a varied amount of weapons to choose from. It's just mainly the Sword Axe and the Pickaxe, along with the Totem of Undying. Also, there is a box, just a regular box that has the grass skin from Minecraft on it, so it's quite funny, and you can do very little with it. However, with the weapons, you can take out enemies, and although it looks odd seeing these weapons in Boneworks, they would definitely be great to use in Bone Lab. So the next mod on our list is the Time Stop mod. Now, this mod, as I always say, does exactly what it says on the tin. It allows you to make time come to an absolute stop. I mean, obviously. Now, it sounds basic, but this allows you to have worlds of fun as you can damage your enemies and then restart time again to see the damage inflict on your opponents. You can also move them around like you're a Quicksilver and put them in funny and weird poses, all of which lead to some funny moments. It's quite obvious why you would want this in Bone Lab, because it's just an incredible funny mod. <sighs> Uh. 
Next up then is the Apache helicopter. You heard that right, lads. Somebody made a model of an Apache helicopter in Boneworks, and it looks absolutely brilliant. Now, why would it be good to have in Bone Lab? Because it's not just a model, but a fully functioning flying machine with machine guns and rockets. You can just walk up, open the door, sit in the cockpit, pull the lever, and then control it with a flight stick in front of you. It even has a seriously cool camera that you can see underneath the helicopter with. And as you can see by the looks of it as a model as well, it looks absolutely incredible. Incredible. So guys, this is probably the most strange, the most odd, the weirdest, most absolutely crazy and unnecessary mod there is. It's the baby mod now that's right guys someone went out to the way to model a realistic baby with crying sound effects in boneworks and well i mean look at them they're absolutely terrifying i mean look at their eyes <laughs> now i'm not sure what you'd want to do with this mod but quite frankly it's absolutely hilarious to see them crawling around and if you annoy them they will actually attack you as well once again there is no reason for this mod to exist but while it does let's give the players of bone up a laugh then shall we Anyway, that's it from me. Bye for now.